what you got to do before you make this offer to your customers is you guys need to have a conversation about where specifically, and you might have already, because you did say you charged them for delivering, right? Yeah. So you need to really decide specifically where you will deliver to, um, where you want to deliver to, and where you don't really want to deliver to. And you have to price everything out based on that. So you mentioned the delivery fee. Is Does that delivery fee change based on how far they are or how difficult it is to get to no. their location? The way we thought about it was that we have a certain area that we deliver to. Yes. And beyond that, we don't. Yes. So if they order something, you know, if they order one bunch of carrots, then they have to pay a, a hefty delivery charge to get that delivered. Yeah. Like that's, There's yeah. A lot of stuff they might get free. If they go over a certain price threshold, it's free delivery. Are people actually ordering that little? No, stuff? we don't even have that as an option yet because we're not yeah. harvesting from the market garden. Right, right. But I just mean, as far as the microgreens go, like, are people ordering that low of a denomination of product? No, no. no. Okay. You've, in, you've incentivized that out, basically. That, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, I think, I think what you'll need to do is just, you might need to, well, maybe you don't need to expand your delivery area at all. Maybe it's just, it's just, getting more out of the area because you said there's you know a decent amount of people down at that other town and there's I, I probably a lot that could be leveraged in wh where you already are the um it, i counted up all the kind of towns on our route and it comes up to like about thirty thousand people okay in all in the population of all the little towns yeah there, if we were to um want to drive an hour south there's a city of a population of about eight hundred thousand. right so it's like, I don't know, like when and if and when we can or feel like we want to, we that's another option. Yep, that's and enough that's good. Down there too. Yeah. Where and which? Actually, there's no competition, really. <laughs> Is there a competition where you are now? No. No. no there's, one, um, there's one farm that does veg boxes, but they... Um, they only grow a really small amount of the product themselves and then the rest of the veg is like shipped in from further mm. south in England. Oh, so and they, also worldwide. They just buy yeah. stuff in from Europe and wherever. Right. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. they only grow like salad greens themselves and then the rest of the vegetables are just... Um, right. So it sounds to me like the... Um, there's not a lot of limitations on in the market side. It's... It's just finding those customers because you've kind of leveraged what you could do with the Facebook marketing thing. And so, you know, I think this, this, what I said is going to be a really, a really strong way for you to get more customers is to just offer that incentive. You're going to have to change the buy-in to make it more convenient, but you're really going to have to explore the, it's kind of just doing like a, it's just kind of a mental exercise of playing out different scenarios. Okay, well, what, if we offer this, what happens if the thing that we really don't want to happen happens? What's our course of action? So it's like you might, so you might offer that that program. So let's say you change out of the twelve week thing, you go right to a weekly scenario. What happens if you get a bunch of people, or maybe it's even one person that's super inconvenient to deliver to? How do you what is your course of action to deal with that? And you, re you really want to set the parameters up of whatever you offer so that you don't have to deal with those situations and make a call to say, look, we can't help you or anything like that. You, you want to basically just let people sort themselves out according to the limitations that you're providing to do that. And um, that probably really mostly just has to do with geography, like how far are they, how inconvenient is it to, to travel to? But it might be the case that out of the 10 people that you're delivering to are they know people right in their neighborhood yeah that then it's easy so if, if you're already delivering to one guy and, and then he and his neighbor wants to sign on well then that's easy because you're already going there and so maybe there's a way to leverage that opportunity yeah we did say that to the um the customer that we delivered to at the furthest north point um she even when she before she kind of signed up she even wrote and was like i know i live in the middle of nowhere like do you mind coming all the way here and she was like oh but you know i'll try and get i think all my neighbors would really like this kind of thing so we were like yeah yeah tell your neighbors yeah 
Yeah. 